sometimes you just feel like rolling with the Russian accent, so you just roll with it. We are all members of the Brotherhood and Sisterhood of Digging. And filming with foggy lenses, but that'll be fixed in a second. In order to be a member of this club, you must have the need to dig. Is it so terrible to have the passion to dig? That was a rhetorical question. And of course the answer is no. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful to have the passion to dig. But you know what? There's people trying to stop us. The artificial turf people. The artificial turf people think that extremely short artificial grass is grandiose well i beg to differ with them yeah i, I want to be on the record as to say that i do not think that it is grandiose at all i, I don't like it I, it just gives us less places to dig this little song will communicate how i feel about the artificial grass people yeah, we started off with a Russian accent. Uh, I, I heard Duhast like a few times in the 90s, and it must have left an impression on me. Now, now we're going German, English, metal, slash, dance, music. Yeah, let's go. Where will you hide, little mouse? Where the grass is short, you will stand out the eyes of the eagle you need not where the astroturf lies you will be caught science has created a new dirt two robots have been working extra hard to mass produce it it is green and lovely like an emerald made of plastic photons it will get the Nobel prize so give it an ovation that ovation and ovation synchronized information the old grass will replace it it is dormant in the winter and that is unacceptable some say limit the hipsters need a place, play hacky sack and frisbee You don't need to water it, the dogs can be in it It will smell like summer breeze, even when they take it It is good for you, you'll have it a lobotomy of nature All the worms are genuine flecking squirrels on antidepressants This is not the fertile present, it is growing like a cancer It is taking over parts, neutering civilization For those who worship dirt, it's a total abomination But what should we do about this problem? Little Mouse has nowhere to hide it seems the eagle's hands are tied. Why would he listen if he doesn't understand your kind? I do have one suggestion on what you should do. Dance regardless, the eagle will fly. You need to dance. Go dig what you can and just cry. You need to dance. That is good for your heart. In your mind, you need to dance. Many golf is bad, their carpets are lime. You need to dance. Cut a rug and go dance all the time. You need to dance. That's it. We cut the rug, cut a rug. You need to dance. Time to cut a rug. Time to cut a rug. You need to dance. Well, here's one of those astroturf fields right now. Away we go. 21, 22. Five arrows down. Not good. This was eight inches down. I'm a skeptic, but yeah, I gotta dig this. Big piece of yunk in there. So, uh, let's move around. This is probably Phil. It's a quarter. Egad! It is Philip the Knox! The legend! Hello. He's here! I'm and here. rumor has it he pulled, uh, well, I, I, it's not a rumor, I saw it. He pulled a two cent piece and uh, what, one silver? Uh, yeah, a rosy. And a rosy. Nice.
And we got Jeff on the way. Interesting mid-tone. Well, that's dig. Nah. Why, it's a quarter. Yeah, it's a carabiner. All right, 1964. So silver era penny. Not terribly deep. Of course, it could have been dropped, you know, five, ten years ago. But let's uh, let's see if we could get uh, another one at a similar depth. Life is just like a big soccer game. So how do you win at life? Goals. These are my goals for 2021. Now, let's see. This is just channel goals right here. I, these are covered on my series, Becoming a Millionaire Metal Detecting. So we'll cover it then. 300 pieces of silver. We are well underway. We have more than 20 as of January, and we will adjust that number at the end of this hunt. Hint, hint. 100 rings. 20 gold items. Oh, this is not counting the challenge from the trash pandas. Yeah, we, we fight trash pandas here. The trash pandas want 50 gold rings. But at the beginning of the year, I said 20 gold items. Full box of Indian head pennies. Let me show you. I'll show you my box of Indian head pennies. Uh, compared to the amount of wheats that I have found, uh, it, it's much less with Indian head pennies. So I want to find... A whole lot of Indian head pennies this year now that I can dig deeper. Five coins from the 1700s. Uh, we already got one. And first capped bust coin. Have not gotten that yet. Did get a bucket lister this year with a half cent. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. Gold number one of the year. has been unlocked. Is it a coin? No, not a coin. Oh, no. <laughs> Phil was just asking if it's a coin. I wish it was a coin. Hey, I'm happy, though. Is that a gold coin? No, no, no. I wish. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, awesome. Yeah. What the hell did that ring up as? 21. Really? Yeah. Makes me wonder if it, I mean, it's not pure gold, obviously. It's, no, it uh, might be GNR plated. Yeah, we got to see the engraving on this. But, I mean, the way that it looks. God, I thought you said Oh, no. I, I, I would be. Uh, oh, is the, this the... live stream? No, 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 oh. no. I was going to say, forgive the effort. <laughs> Yeah. Well, any any jewelry is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Rose gold. No, it says, uh, God, we need Jeff, but I think it says something there. Uh, engravings. There we go. Yeah. What it says, I don't know. Well, I'll break, <laughs> I'll break out my phone camera and uh, and we will check that out. Jeff can read that. God bless him. Yeah, man. Gold with that. Yeah, I think so. It's official. Fourteen carat. Does and that does not count to your trash pandas. No, the trash pandas. They're they're really difficult creatures. You should have just said. Uh, gold items you know maybe that's uh maybe that's the better way to do it 50 gold items between me and matt and we we really if we want to save the moon we got to get you and jeff in on this too so oh absolutely we'll, yeah we'll certainly contribute yeah i think but i think that's yeah. 50 gold rings is tough we might yeah 50 gold rings is very i mean even between two people even the three of us you know it's not it's you know it's dependent on what you find it right right <laughs> And we follow the gold up with a dimmy. Even though we're not officially going for a thousand dollar gold with clad this year, never, no quarter left behind. This adds up to be gold. Yeah, it's a quarter. Yeah, it's a quarter. This is a deep signal for the area. Most likely going to be a uh, dime. 
clad dime, but let's see. Yeah, 1980 penny, that's the same depth that I got a 1964 penny, so uh, we would have to get much deeper to get to the silver layer, I feel. Skilva, not for me though. This is a beauty. Oh, I forgot my spray again. Here you go, sir. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, brother. Money penny. Yeah, that's that silver. It's close to the water, so. Uh, oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, there is. Yep. Oh, the other one came out nice. This one came out like shit. <laughs> oh, congratulations. All right. Good little, uh... Time to get on the board. Outstanding Liberty. Eagle selfie quarter. All right, we've got a deep signal isolated. One other interesting point. Uh, Phil is using the standard coil today. I'm using the oversized coil. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing. If you're in an area where there's a lot of space between targets, it's a great thing. If you're in an area that uh, is really packed in, uh, it can backfire. So let's see. Signal was not as deep as I thought, but I got a really cool boule. It's a boule. Let's dig. Isn't it ironic? 2120, 19. Let's dig. This is a tough one. I'm finding a rock layer and no sign of the signal. We're gonna go a little deeper and see, but uh, Usually where there's rocks like this, it means moved dirt, but let's see. Okay, complex signal. Uh, I went to the side. This was on the side. I wanted to see if I could uh, clear up the signal in that, um, you know, both were under my coil. So I went to the more obvious one. Let's see what's left. Okay, so there is something left. Maybe a nickel. That was a whole lot of work for a nickel. This is my first high probability silver signal of the day. Let's dig. Egad, we are on the wheat. With something else here. We're calling silver on this one. Very funny. Another weedy. We are 9 for 35 for the month. Eesh. Well, the good news is we found a good spot. We are on the wheat once again. Dimmy. Hoping for a nice nickel on this one. Let's dig. Meh. This has been all the way up to 30. Anyway, I took stuff out of this signal, and uh, it still remains, but deep and possibly iron. Some angles are better than others. There we go. So we dig. Well, here we go. This is something old. All right, smart people, help me out. What is this? Also found it with a piece of pottery. No idea how this, this ground is. Uh... Well, it appears we found the Jeff. And he's dancing. And he's dancing. Oh, look at that. that that's a move. That is a move.
Good day, sir. Hello. Hello. Oh my God, this has got like muddy from this morning. It's a muddy buddy. Yeah. Oh snap. Not a coin. Nah. Money penny. Oh, I like it a lot. See, just when I was about to call Silver, it went away. We're still digging it. Calling Silver. All right, we got it. And I do believe it is just Abe. Jeff, do you have a spray? Spray? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, this is a weedy. If there's got to be a weedy. It was deep. I mean, it was a good ten inches down, but it's a weedy. It's a weedy. Pretty no, sure it weedy. is. Mm. Sweet mother of pearl. You see Abe? I'm starting to see Abe up here. Hey, what's up, man? It looks like a fatty. Wait a second. <laughs> It's a fat. Yeah, there's Abe, and there's the date right there, 42. Uh, <laughs> That's a dollar coin. Yep. I got one of those today, too. Nice. Hey, how you doing? Do you remember me? No. Oh, I got this, too. Street, you said I had a sniper coil on. I have no idea. Go by the rocks. Oh, I, I got you a gold, gold ring. ring. It's the glutenizer. <laughs> yes. It's another glutenizer. Yeah, I got one of these. I think I got the same one as you. You got to yeah. you got to tell Merrill that story. I remember. No, we we met uh, up in We met yes. a couple of weeks ago. Right, that's park. right. Yep. But he had a sniper coil. I was pulling a lot of silver coins that day and I said, "Hey man, this probably rings by those rocks." I sent them over and he pulled the gold ring. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's awesome. That's why we do it. <laughs> Repeating 1920. Nice I believe we're on the Indian head. That is something on the list for this year. I believe we're on the Indian head. Hey, Jeff. Sorry, buddy. Can I get that spray? I know, I know, don't spray copper. I can't tell right now. And shoot, I gotta bring my own. You? I think I got an Indian head. Oh, you did? Yep. You don't spray that, you silly goose. I know. I know. I'm gonna do it for you anyway. Yeah, I, I just, I need to know. I hear you. Ooh, it rang up uh, just like an Indian head. Hold on, I can make, I don't want to get it, the muddy, I can actually see the edge. This is, this might be something different. Yeah? Wait. I see something, I don't know, it's definitely. Alright, there's something different, I think. Hmm. That looks like an Indian head. Yeah. But I just saw the one cent in the middle. 
Yep. Yeah. One Indian set, head. There we go. Nice. There we go. There's a towards your Indian head goal. Yes, sir. Nice. Yeah, there it is. Yes, sir. Nice job. Thank you, sir. Found it. And here's a muddy yeah. Indian yeah. head for you. Muddy Indian head. Yeah. Indian head. All right, so this is the Philip the Box of this year. And uh, I might have overestimated <laughs> again what, or underestimated what I need to do. Um, but I'm hoping to fill this container. It's nothing like Philip the Box. But um, yeah, I better get dig digging. Let me just put this brutal honesty out there. For somebody who's been digging going on nine years in New York. Uh, that, that's my total output of Indian head pennies. That's not too good. That's not too good at all. And we're going to try to fix that this year. Compare that with my wheat collection. Let's take a look. I am Mr. Wheat, okay? I, I have found this thing is heavy, okay? This is a crate. This is huge. Yeah, let, let's compare. Hold on. Indian heads, wheats. Indian heads, wheats. That is disproportional. It bothers me. It bothers me. We need to do something about this. I'm at this rate, I'm gonna fill this container faster than this one. We fixed that this year. This is a few feet over. That's an Indian head signal, too. Of course, when I call anything, it, it just never comes true. See what I mean? It's a zincan head. Meh. Another nice signal, five arrows down. Let's go. It's deep. He could go all the way to the garbage to dispose a bottle cap. Meh. We calling it. That's a quarter. On the weed again. It's not silver, but it's oldish. Oh, is it 25? Oh, damn it. I think I was, so. Hold I was hoping on. it'd be like a 21. The like Knox has number four. Beast mode. Oh, very nice. Want to go to the back? Want to turn your backside? There you go. You got a mint Ooh. mark. Where is the mint mark on the it, mark? It's right after the one, between the one and the bottom of that uh, shaft. Ah, good. No, not really. Back to that hole. So no, no, no. You got It's just deep. It's deep. And he could go all the way. Let's see. And he drops the ball at the one yard line. Nah. It is a quarter. That's two quarters. 50 cents. Well, here's something interesting. It's a cap. And it doesn't interest me anymore. 10 inch signal. It's below this. So, they're going deep. Uh, I, I just love, absolutely love finding super deep wheat scents. Like, really? 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 That's a quarter. Yeah, it's another quarter. I just got a uh, dimmy. Jeff just got a dimmy too, but a nicer one. Look at that. Skilva on the Skilva. board, sir. There you go, there you go. Go, go, go. This is one of those signals. Only going one way. Well, it repeated. Just repeated, but before it was going one way. Well, let's dig. 27, 28, 29. Four arrows. Oh, sure, let's call it. Dimmy. Look at that, it's snowing. 35 cents. What a weird hole. 11 cents and uh, beaver. Who's the king of wheat? This guy. Uh-oh. Short 
Sure sounds good. <laughs> Who's the king of wheat? This guy. Well, the color is silver. But it looks like yet. <laughs> Seeded. Can you see the year? Number five in the day? Oh my God, it's a barber. <laughs> oh, it's a barber? Okay. That's all right. I, I apologize. I, my eyes are dead, bro. Yeah, mine I, too. I'm sorry. Now I see it and I wiped it. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, there you go. There you go. 1908, I could see that. Yeah, there it is. Good stuff. Ah. Dimmy. Dimmy. All right, Phil and Jeff left. I need silver number one, and then I'm good. Any day that you find gold, you can't complain. Plus the Indian, happy with that. But we have gold, 300 pieces of silver. We're at 21 for the year. So we gotta keep pace. Little food for thought from an educator. This is why numbers are important if you are healthy about those numbers. Metal detecting means something to me. It, it clearly does. I hope you can see it. And I want to know that I'm getting better. So this year especially, I'm taking numbers. In the past, I have taken numbers on my channel and channel growth. That's good. But you know what really matters the most to me? My personal growth. For anybody else who tries to do this, I want to advise you to push, but to keep it comfortable. So I'm in charge of all of the data at my school, and the advice that I give to my many students is with uh, the analogy of a tachometer, which if their parents drive, they will understand, you know, there are different dials on the dashboard. And there's this interesting one that has the, you know, the colors over in here. And I tell them where you want to be, you want to be here. You can't sprint a marathon. You wind up hurting yourself. You wind up hurting your heart. But you want to be here. You want to be in this range. This area here, there's no growth. This area here, you're hurting yourself. This is where you want to be. So the Indian head goal is extra important because, uh, I mean, filling the box, I suppose, is irrelevant. But getting more Indian heads than I ever have before, uh, they've been in the ground longer. I mean, you occasionally get them in change. I've been told I've never gotten them in change. But they're going to be deeper. They have more ground time. Uh, potentially, they can be, uh, they have more time to sink or more time to have dirt put over them or sodding put over them. So you have to pull deeper. If I get that goal, I'm pulling deeper. I'm tuning into another level. I'm going to count that as growth. In addition to that, it helps you get to those goals if you surround yourself with like minded people with similar goals. Done and you make sure that you are humble enough to listen to them, done. And three is to be extremely persistent as long as you don't over-rev that tachometer, that over-rev that engine. Watch. Got a nickel tone that turned out to be this foil. Foiled again. I haven't been showing them all, but yes, we are digging mid-tones. Go, go, go. We are on the board, and this was not even deep. Hagen does. Has been unlocked. Mercantilism. There we go. 22 for the month. 1939. There we go. All right, 1939. And a, oh, D mint mark. So 1939D, and that is number 22 for the month in silver coins. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six other pieces of silver. So that's uh, 28 pieces of silver this month. Uh-oh, and there's something else in that hole. 
probably a weedy. <laughs> Right, I'll get back to you. Of course it's a weedy. We're right in this same spot. Let's see if we can get more. And we got more wheat. High sounding. Twenty cent coin spill. Here we go. Let's dig. That's a quarter. Another wheat. Well, there we go. We just got something. We just got something. Okay, that it looks Russian. That's pretty cool. with some foil too. Okay, I don't know how old this is. I think I see 1990. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Never found one of these before. Calling silver. Solid. Not silver, but it seems to be Indian head penny. Check the signal, the hole, because that, uh, it's kind of an odd signal for an Indian head. It was deep. Twelve thirteen left behind. Make it a nice nickel. Great. Yeah, we're calling that one a hunt. Oh, it's wrap-up time. Boom shakalaka. Silver and gold. This is bizarre. I got $9 worth of uh, clad. Uh, I don't recall digging up that much. Um, part of it was uh, I did another short hunt uh, the day before that uh, got me no silver and a few interesting pieces, but... Um, I don't remember digging up that much clad. Um, we also have some good pennies. We'll, uh, we'll go through those next. And yeah, we dug a lot of yunk. All right, for the pennies, two Indian head pennies, 16 Wheaties. All right, so let's close out this video by taking a look at our goals and where we are. Big picture goals I will leave for becoming a millionaire metal detecting. Metal detecting goals, 300 pieces of silver. We are at 22. 100 rings, we do not have our first ring yet. 20 gold items, oh, we have one of 20 down. So that's, uh, that's progress right there. Um, full box of Indian head pennies, I might have overstated that. Uh, if I get 200 this year, I'll be thrilled. We have five and one of those five is actually a flying eagle, so very happy about that. Um, five coins from the 1700s. We have one. I found a King George, so we are one-fifth of the way there towards that goal. First capped bust coin. Didn't find that, but I did find my first bucket lister of the year, actually two. One was that uh, King George the first coin, and the second was that half cent, which I never found before. And the third was the silver thimble. We're off to a good start. And uh, if you are still on the fence to whether or not to subscribe, this is Fun Club. What, what, are you, what are you waiting for? Like, hit that subscribe button and the like button while you're at it. Greatly appreciate it. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. And tonight is your show, Subscriber Sundays. So 9 p.m. tonight, uh, we will have a premiere of that.